Unlike the historic view as a system spoiled by nepotism and political favoritism, the model of a good public administration today entails a system of people who meet professional standards and follow legal guidelines. Their duty is to serve the individual citizens and protect the public interest, which is the reason why we finance them from our tax money. In order to find out if our money in financing the public administration is well spent and if services are provided professionally and to the citizens' satisfaction, a framework of principles has been developed to examine the performance of the public administration. One of the six areas of public administration reform is the area of accountability. Accountable is by definition the condition of being required or expected to justify actions or decisions, also responsible. So, the key requirement in this area for EU accession is setting in place proper mechanisms to ensure accountability of state administration bodies, including liability and transparency. This requirement is fulfilled by complying with five main principles. First, you may want to get something done by the civil service. Renew some personal documents, submit tax paperwork or maybe you want to start up a new enterprise. To do that, you should know which institution you need to address for that occasion. In case something goes wrong with your proceedings, you need to know clearly who is responsible for that. That is why the government and agencies should be organized rationally and follow adequate policies, which help the public keep an eye on the work of the institutions. Second, any documents and information that the administration possesses and creates in the scope of its work should be made available to the citizens who have an interest in them. So, in case you or anyone else shows interest in them, the institution is legally obliged to share them and should do that in practice. The institutions are also required to maintain and update their websites regularly, which helps improve the institutional transparency. The third principle demands mechanisms for protecting both the right of the individual to good administration and the public interest. This means that in order to keep the administration bodies from mishandling individual cases and to ensure good administration behavior, those bodies need to be subject to scrutiny by oversight institutions such as the Ombudsperson, as well as the courts and the general public. Also, since the public administration serves the public interest, mechanisms should be in place to protect it from abuse in the interest of individuals. The fourth principle defines a scenario in which you may find yourself dissatisfied with an unfair or even illegal administrative act. To protect your rights, you should be able to contest an administrative decision through an internal appeals procedure. Moreover, you should be able to initiate judicial proceedings against the final administrative decision. This ensures fair treatment in administrative proceedings. And finally, you may find yourself in a situation where previous wrongdoings of the administrative bodies damaged you in some way. If this is ever to happen, the public authorities should regress or compensate the damages made by the illegal action of the administration. This ensures the enactment of the principle of liability. Ensuring these principles are well implemented is a vital step for achieving public administration accountability. The implementation of these principles remains a criterion for EU accession.